Hey guys, I've been seeing a lot of doom saying online about AI and how it's getting so good that it's gonna replace software engineers and then we're all gonna lose our jobs. This combined with a very AI focused reinvent in December has really got me thinking about the subject and I wanted to share some of my thoughts about it with you today. I recently watched a video by Jonathan B titled, I no longer fear AI replacing me, I welcome it. I'll link the video down in the description and you should definitely check it out. Jonathan B is a philosopher, but I feel like his thought process on AI can be applied everywhere, especially software. I think he gives voice to a lot of things that I've been feeling intuitively for a while now. He says that seeing something that you've worked so hard at and put so much effort into get automated so easily by AI brings about a sense of existential dread. And I definitely feel this, and I think that a lot of other people do as well. I wanted to make this video to outline my thoughts and feelings on AI, where I think things are headed, and what to do about it. The first point that I wanna make is that AI is not going to replace humans on a large scale, at least not yet, especially software engineers. I think we're still very far from this. I think that the initial visceral fear of AI taking my job says more about my view of my own profession than it does about AI itself. If I look at my job as exclusively writing code and AI does that better than I do, then I could understand this fear being justified. I think this is a parallel with how Jonathan talks about a production mindset where we look at just output metrics, like lines of code written. And I think this is in contrast to the cultivation mindset that he talks about, which focuses on thinking of software as a means to continuously improve yourself. I think that when you look at software from that production mindset, it can definitely lead to despair because AI is just so good at synthesizing and outputting lines of code. This means that an advanced AI can put out code at a rate that not even the best developer could keep up with. And because AI can output code so well, it cheapens it. Whether the code is good or not doesn't matter as much because it can create so much of it so easily. Therefore, I think that just knowing how to code is going to be insufficient moving forward. If we look at software engineering from this viewpoint of strictly output metrics, then it isn't hard to see a world where all software engineering jobs are eventually automated by an AI that can do it better and faster. I think that if we switch the context of viewing software from a cultivation mindset, we can also switch the context in which we view AI. If AI is really good at doing lower level thinking and generating simple solutions, architectures, and boilerplate code, then from a cultivation lens, AI can be seen as a great accelerator to our efforts because it can do things just so much faster than we can. AI makes it so you can spend less time searching for information and instead frees you up to focus on two, I think, more important skills. The first is higher order thinking, and the second is empathetic soft skills. I think that these can be correlated to the moats that Jonathan describes in his video, which are defined as places that we can put our focus on improving that are safe from AI. I think that focusing on cultivating these skills will make you more valuable in a way that goes beyond just simply writing lines of code. Moat one is that humans are really good at higher order thinking. There are countless contexts in software engineering where the code is not the point. Instead, the real challenge lies in understanding complex requirements, shaping an architectural vision, ensuring security and compliance, or troubleshooting real world constraints. We also excel at generating new ideas, thinking abstractly, and connecting existing ideas in novel and unique ways. AI sucks at this stuff, at least for now, but you and I, we excel at it. The second moat is empathetic soft skills. As AI tools continue to evolve and get better at streamlining and automating coding tasks, software engineers will primarily add value through collaboration, problem framing, and nuanced decision making, all of which hinge on soft skills. Soft skills that I think are really going to matter are going to be communication, leadership, and empathy. A developer who can quickly spin up a prototype but struggles to gather feedback or explain the design will lag behind someone who can unify the team around a shared vision. Also, great software often emerges not just from solitary genius, but from idea collisions in brainstorming sessions or code reviews, which happen with other people. While I was still in my coding bootcamp learning JavaScript, I landed my first software development job writing PHP, and I got that job because of my soft skills. It certainly wasn't my technical skills because I had never written PHP before in my life, but I had almost a decade of restaurant experience, and so I really leaned into that. I was able to communicate well, and I was easy to work with, and so I got Got the job after my first interview. I think that higher order thinking and empathetic soft skills are things that are safe from AI, at least for now. And if you aren't good at these things, they're definitely things that you can cultivate and get better at. 
it. That's not to say that these things will always be AI proof, but I think we have a long time before AI is able to do either one of them. And I think that by focusing on these, it will give you the best shot at career longevity. Because of AI, you'll have more time to focus on cultivating higher order thinking and empathetic soft skills. Because the academic grunt work of trudging and searching and finding is made easier because of AI. I think that the sooner that companies realize this, the sooner they can begin to integrate it in a safe and secure manner within their organizations. I think that the faster that they do this, the more they will empower their workforce to be able to pursue more creative and exploratory projects. This in turn will lead to more innovation. And I think that this innovation will lead to new ideas at a rate that has been unprecedented in human history. And I think that this is what AI is all about. Now, will this flourishing of AI lead to the automation of some jobs? Probably, but I think that the ones who adopt it earliest, learn to use it, and then evolve with it, stand the best chance of not being automated out of a job. I think this is the path forward to future-proofing yourself in software engineering, at least for now. Of course, jobs will still require you to know how to read and write code, but I think that the way that we're headed, it will become a much smaller part of software engineering jobs overall. AI is not perfect. It gets things wrong. It has flaws in logic. It has biases. But it's also not going anywhere, and I view this as a massive opportunity for me to grow. This is from the perspective of someone in software engineering, but I think it has implications for just about anybody who does any kind of knowledge work. What do you think about this? Let me know down in the comments. Also, please check out Jonathan's video. I linked it down in the description. It really showed up at the right time for me. Thank you for watching.